Okay, I did find out it is the 18th. And it's 65 degrees. Now, how did I have this a second ago? That's just going to have to be like this, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> oh. Let's leave it like that. Wow, the uh, walnuts are falling like crazy. Get my gloves. I dropped them here. <clears throat> the weather is 65. So it's cooler than I thought it was. But it's pleasant. You know what? I'm going to have to put a stick behind uh, the camera. I thought this was going to work okay. I'm just going to lean it forward. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see me. <clears throat> but it is a beautiful day, guys, once again. Hello. Like I said, I don't even know if you guys can really see me. We'll see. <clears throat> Sky's totally clear, guys. Sky is totally clear. Uh, there's a nice breeze, which is good. Uh, walnuts is so distracted. distracting distracting <clears throat> Tom Bozak how you doing my man obviously you're doing good um, I did happen to look at someone who responded to one of your posts that was Tom Tom Tompkins or something like that Tom Thompson Tom Tompkins and also a guy by the name of uh, Ron Jipping. Ron, how you doing? Tom, how you doing? Tom J uh, Tompkins. And uh, which made me think about um, Pat Taylor. Remember Pat? Tiny? Pat Taylor. I'm wondering if you guys even remember all these guys. Otto, of course. <clears throat> Jan Casper. Whatever happened to him? Ralph Cole. Jim Juring. Jim, what's up? Jim Host. I don't know if you guys remember Jim Host. Percy Vanderslick, of course. Rich Hooker. John. Oh, shoot. John Morin. Oh, that's another guy. There's another John who married <clears throat> a Linda, I believe, who was an inspector at Keeler Brass. Hey guys, I'm just rattling, talking. <clears throat> and you know what? I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to, to do the stalls right yet. This almost looks like a potato plant, guys. Right here. I wonder what it is. <sighs> I'm just gonna let the horses out first, guys, and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean the stalls. Uh, there is a reason why I'm not uh, not uh, gonna clean the stalls right at the moment. So what I'm gonna do, it has to do with getting old and being irregular. And that's all I'm gonna really say because, you know, TMI. Boy, that's why I'm not moving very quickly either. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you're such a dolly, you're such a dolly, but you nibble on people. Got quite a bit of hay left. <clears throat> Not really, but got some hay left. Let her daughter out. Hi, sweetheart. Come on, honey. Sweetie. Let's 
Get most of her hay. She's eating. Yay. She rubs all her mane off on the trees in the woods. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have a beautiful horse with mane and yada, 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 but just their movement is so cool. <clears throat> just watching them. <clears throat> and smelling them. They smell so glorious, like leather. What are you talking about, Burn? Like leather. Smell like leather. <clears throat> See, you step on these things here, guys. This thing here. It really. See that thing? It's a walnut. And ouch! There's another walnut right here. You can see. Ron Graham. Ron Graham. No relation to Billy Graham. But he was an electrician extraordinaire at uh, Keeler Brass. He could get stuff, keep stuff running. It just amazed me. <clears throat> this guy. Uh, anyway, he used to take walnuts, oh, jack up a car, and uh, <clears throat> put it in drive, and slide the walnuts underneath the car tire and the driveway and smack them against a brick, a bunch of bricks, and crack open the walnuts. <clears throat> but by doing that, he would do this barehanded, his hands and fingers would turn dark 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 walnut brown i mean so dark and that's the way it'd be for months i got such a kick out of it but these hard walnuts <clears throat> have very hard hardly any meat in them but uh, <clears throat> they're so tasty i'm wincing because i don't know if i'm gonna make it to the cows in time sorry tmi again oh. now i left these gloves in here by mistake <clears throat> i'm gonna grab them not these but the other ones but oh man am i gonna make it to the house i don't know guys i don't know there's a blower that i blew the barn out with oh this kathy guys get a nice glimpse of kathy here she hates when i video on her Hey, Kathy, yeah. say hi. Hi. She said hi. What are you doing? <laughs> no idea what she's doing. She gets along pretty good with the, I mean the dog gets along pretty good with the cats. Kathy does too. <laughs> Quick story about chipped beef. Chipped beef, what's that? <clears throat> well. Somebody mentioned chipped beef. Tom Bozak posted that on Facebook. Chipped beef and white sauce. And I remember Kathy and I used to eat that stuff. <clears throat> and I thought she was the one that turned me on to it, but she said, no, I did. Well, I'm guessing maybe my brother John used to buy that stuff from Jerry's Food Store in, Keeler, in uh, Grand Rapids. <clears throat> and then uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> he turned me on to that stuff. Probably as a something on a shingle. sandwich yum oh guys i gotta get my button side here's some of my camping stuff guys i'll show you that stuff later i gotta get my button side see ya <laughs>